Well, it's May 26th in the Hudson Valley, and I'm just a little bit too late. Check this out. Oh, man. Oh, and it doesn't stop there. Look at this beauty. Too old. Dried out. Dead. Oh, up here. Three really big morels. Look at these. Dead, too old. Uh, here's one. Dead, too old. Here's one. Too old. That one probably broke off of that stem over there. Uh, which way were the other ones? Over here. Yeah. Too old. What else we got? Yep. Right here. These used to be nice morels. Now they're too old. Probably crassipes. Uh, I don't really know the species names that well. The big ones, the big yellows. So, looks like the season's just about over, unfortunately. I tried to find this spot earlier. I knew that I had a really good spot here from previous years and I just couldn't get to it. Finally did stumble upon it again. And I'm just too late. So, I will show you the terrain a little bit. This is an interesting spot of mine because none of these trees are ash, elm, poplar, tulip poplar, none of them. Got a lot of undergrowth here. I don't know what this is. This is, I believe, an ironwood of some kind. Yeah. Uh, so this is not an elm. It's an ironwood. You can tell by the leaves that they are, there's not at the bottom, the, uh, the elm goes up a little bit more there. They don't meet up. That's an ironwood. That's another ironwood. I, I think one of these is uh, a beech. But yeah, this is a really interesting spot for me where I have found a lot of morels before and none of the trees are correct. However, I am on some limestone here. So, it just goes to show you that, yeah, you can find morels under trees in the woods, you know? You're better off finding the good trees that are known to be associated with them. But none of these trees are the typical morel trees. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but, uh, yeah, these are a combination of oaks. I mean, you can tell by what's on the ground here. Oak, another kind of oak. Probably a third kind of oak. Yeah. So, an odd situation where I did find a lot of big morels in the past. But that pretty much does it for the season. Stick with my channel though, because as I said in my last video, I just got a new camera. And I'm gonna show you how to find lots of different mushrooms and lots of different other stuff in nature and things like that. So follow me and you'll see some of that stuff and more. Okay, bye.